Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine. Great. How was your day? Estresante. <laughs> Stressful. Stressful. Okay. Too much work. Mm, I I visit a client uh -huh. in the morning. Uh -huh. Too far. Very hot. Ah, oh, the weather. Yes. The weather is very hot and you were driving. The traffic is terrible. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> I know, it's horrible. Everywhere, all the time. Yes. The morning, the afternoon, the evening, everything is uh, very hard, very hard, very difficult to deal with. All right. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully tomorrow it's better. Because <laughs> tomorrow is Friday and sometimes Mondays and Fridays. It's difficult. The traffic is very hard. Everywhere. It's too many cars. Too many cars driving all over the city. And people are stressed. Yes, people are stressed out, people are running, people are crazy, people are mad, people are angry. It's true. And there are some accidents too, because people are not driving calm. So I've seen a lot of ambulances, a lot of police cars. It's not possible driving calm. <laughs> I know. It's bad, bad, bad. Well, good evening, everybody. I see only Miss Evelyn Mendoza and Mr. Daniel Adonai Trejo have the camera. What's going on? <laughs> uh huh. Everything okay? Yes. Good. Well, let's start. Let's get started. Oh, Daniela and Lady, too. Good evening. Hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the class. What day is today? Um, Thursday. Uh huh. Today is Thursday. Okay. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes. Today is Tuesday. I see somebody. All right. Tatiana says in five minutes she will turn on the camera. All right. <laughs> it's okay, Tatiana. Don't worry. All right. Today is Tuesday, January 26. Wow. Almost finished the first month of the year, right? Nice. Let's see. We have the class number two. Yes, today is the session number two. All right, just the reminders for the evaluation and the assignments, okay? The requirements to be connected on the online class for you to be on the video call. That's very important. And of course, as well as the attendance reminder. This is, yes, the manual that you have to have in order to be on the track to follow all the content that we study on this module, okay? So for this class session, yes, participants will be able to, uh -huh. anybody? What's the objective? At the end of this session, participants will be able to. 
describe activities in the workplace and other situations, use simple present statement. Very good. Remember yesterday we started talking about the activities that we do at the workplace, right? So definitely we use the simple present to describe, to name activities that we usually do. So in this case, of course, at the workplace, we usually get at the workplace at a specific time. We usually leave the place at a specific time. So it's kind of a routine, kind of a, a usual activity, okay? So it's a, a, an activity that we repeat every day. So it's something very, very repetitive. So that's why we're gonna be using the simple present, okay? okay. Of course, we need to know the verbs. <laughs> we need to know many words for actions, right? Like go, come, eat, stay, work, play, uh, study, complete, share. So those are the action words, right? I'm going to stop sharing the screen because I need to have the attendance first and then we continue, okay? Okay. Ready for the attendance? Yes, ready. Yes, very good. Okay, one second because of my email account is always changed. And I need the one that I'm using for this class. Okay, one second. Uh -huh. I can't find my name. <laughs> Wait. I need to find it. Ah, here. Here I am. Okay. Uh-huh, let me see. Today is Thursday, right? Ana Ruth Orellana. Ana Ruth, not here. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, hello. Good evening. Brenda Lisset. Brenda Lisset. Not here. Okay. Claudio Patricia. Oh, she's not here either. Daniela Donay. Present. Hello, good evening. Daniel Alejandro. Daniel Alejandro. Not here. Daniel Alisa. Present. Hello, good evening. Good evening. All right, let's see who's next. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, we have Daisy Tatiana. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Good evening. Dolores de Los Angeles. Present. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Juliana Maria. Present. Hello, good evening. Hailene Sarai, she sent a permission, I think. Let me check. She's, I guess she sent me a message. Mm -hmm. She has some meeting. <coughs> I'm sorry. So she most likely will, will be absent, all right. 
Jonas Asunción. Not here. All right, Jorge Antonio. Not here. Jose David. Caitán. Not here. Jose David. Not yet. Julio Aristides. I'm here, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Karen Emperatriz. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Kevin Alexander. Not here. Present teacher. Hi, hello. <laughs> good evening. Okay, Lady Maricela. Present. Hello, good evening. Ruth Evelyn Mendoza. Good evening, everybody. I'm Good present. Evening. Hello. Okay. Uh, Wendy. Not here, Wendy. And Genesis. Not here either. Okay. Miss. Wow. Hi. Good night. Hello. Good evening. How are you? You're welcome. Eh, Lick, me acabo de conectar a la clase porque tuve un retraso con otra clase que tengo anteriormente. Entonces, sí, me voy a estar conectando un poquito más tarde porque mis clases terminan a las 8 o 10. Ok, thank you. Thank you for informing. Ahí <laughs> tengo apuntada a que no, porque no me quiere conectar. Ok. All right. Thank you. Let's continue. Bye. Vamos a escribir tres oraciones en el chat. Three sentences. De algo que hicieron hoy, pero que generalmente hacen. Por ejemplo, I, let me see, I teach four classes in the morning. Es algo que yo generalmente hago. I have breakfast at work. To be. I have a break at 10 a.m. I check emails in the afternoon. Or I drink coffee at 3 p.m. No sé, cosas que generalmente hagan. Puede ser at work or in life in general, ¿ok? Escriban tres cosas que generalmente hacen on the chat, please. Write down on the chat. Okay. Three activities that you usually do. Ready? Ya las tienen? I call clients, I send reports, I check my email. I fix computers, I don't know. Three activities I usually do every day. Lo vamos a escribir, teacher. En el chat. Ok. Yes. All right, one message. 
Ok, Daniela Donay says, I check emails in the morning. I read reports of technical reports. All right. Or I read technical reports. I call international suppliers. All right, nice. Very good. Uh -huh. Someone else? Okay, somebody's writing on the chat at WhatsApp. Okay, you can write on the chat here in Zoom. Mm -hmm. I have breakfast before I go to work. That's good. Lucky you. <laughs> Because not everybody has time to have breakfast before going to work. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? What else? Uh -huh. Very good. I check my WhatsApp. I check my emails. I check documents. Okay. I make my upmate uh, breakfast. I bathe. <laughs> All right. All right. I take a shower at 5 a.m. I run at 6. All right. I drink coffee at work. I open systems on the computer. I talk with my friends. I review invoice or pass them to payment. Uh -huh. I have breakfast at six o'clock. I update up accounting system. I check emails in the afternoon. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I send emails to accounting of bank movements. I check the account payables. I make my schedule for the day. Uh -huh. I go to my work, I have breakfast, I check my WhatsApp. All right. That's good. Oh my God. Here it says at 4 a.m. I cook the breakfast for my son. Oh wow. That's really early. In the morning, I go to the supermarket. At 3 p.m., I send a proposal to prospective clients. Uh, I drive to work, I drink coffee, and I check emails. I go to have lunch with my mom every day, or at my mom's every day. Good. Lucky, lucky, lucky you. Okay, nice. All right, for the ones that are ready, well, the activities that you mostly do, we're going to go to the next activity. This is a simple conversation. Where do you work? I work at the name of the company. What's your job position? I am a, and what do you do on Monday morning? I usually check my schedule. All right, where do you work? Of course, we work at different companies, right? Okay, what's your job position? We have different job positions, right? And what do you do Monday morning? I usually check my schedule. I usually write um, the important events on the agenda. I check the um, emails or I have a meeting, whatever the activities are that you do on Monday morning, right? All right, Julia says every morning I wake up at 6 a.m. I drive to downtown at 6 p.m. Oh, later at 7 a.m., I take the breakfast at my work, turn on the computer at the PC. I check the institutional email with my partners at work. We drink a cup of coffee at 3, often 3. All right, nice. All right, good. All right, so let's see we're going to continue practicing with the activities from yesterday remember that these are something related to what we were studying 
And these are some of the regular activities that people do or that we do on a regular Monday. Okay, number one, what is number one? Check my emails. Very good. Number two? Type a letter. Type a letter. Number three? Write a report. Write a report. Number four? Attend a meeting. Attend a meeting. Number five? Call clients. Call clients. Call clients. Number six? Read a report. Read a report. Read a report. Number seven? Visit clients. clients. Visit clients. And eight? Organize meeting. Organize meeting. Okay. This is well, very common vocabulary that we know already. So, con cualquiera de esas actividades que previamente hemos visto en este chart, que ustedes también tienen en su manual, van a completar estas oraciones, que es el siguiente exercise. Okay? Exercise 4, exercise 6. Right? I mean, exercise four, exercise five. I'm sorry. Complete the sentences with one activity from the box. Then compare your answers with the partner. Traten de, de completarlo. Igual, si no lo tienen en el manual impreso, pues la pueden tomar nota, la de la respuesta nada más en su cuaderno, y luego compararla con su partner. Okay? I'm going to leave it like this. Voy a dejarlo así por un momento. Y luego les comparto el screenshot en su, en su WhatsApp group mm -hmm. para que puedan compartir las respuestas con su partner. O compare, más bien dicho. Compare the answers with your partner. ¿Quieren ver las, las activities? Sí. sí. Ok, check my email. Type a letter, write a report, attend a meeting, call clients, read a report, visit clients, organize them. Okay. Me arreglen un segundito, les voy a compartir el screenshot para que lo tengan y lo puedan ver desde el cell phone. One second, one second, please. I'm going to do the first with this one. Para los que aún no tienen impreso su memo. Here we go. What's it please? Very good. And the next one, let me see. Of the sentence, right? Here we go. Two. Okay. There you go. So my turn.
Yeah, I mean, in the sentence is three. What do you? Huh? Please. I'm going Read a report is a possibility. Sí. En, en A4 voy a hacer a ten, a tenga miel. Organize. Huh? Organize. <laughs> Organize meeting. Organize Pero meeting. Dan, okay. No. Entonces, con esas palabras habría que complementar las oraciones que aparecen ahí. Aparece, por ejemplo, ya un ejemplo. I call clients every day. I use the company's phone. Y la dos mm. dice, uh, our secretary. Uh, Ty alerta. Ajá, uh -huh. okay, puede ser. Uh -huh. Entonces no, no lo he escrito, ya dijo que lo escribiéramos, pero no, bueno. Y como está ahí cerca, ahí dejo uh -huh. las imágenes. Ok, y los uh -huh. tres. Día, usando su portátil. Yeah. I check my email. In the number three. Hello. Hola. Okay. Okay. Vamos a discutir como las respuestas que seleccionamos en las, okay. en las oraciones, ¿verdad? Okay. ¿Terminaron? Sí, mm. yo ya terminé. ¿Ustedes? Bárbara. No, sería... Y de ahí dice que las reuniones tienen lugar en el auditorio. It's probably... ¿Cuál puso usted en la primera? En the number two. Number two. No, number one. Ah, no, perdón. Number two, sí, number two. Number two. Our, secret, our secretary write a report when she sends them via email. Yes. Come on. Igual yo. <laughs> Igual. Por lógica. Type a letter. <laughs> Number three. I, I check my email. Twice a day. I use my laptop computer. No sé si esa posición es usted. Yes. Okay. ¿Y usted? Arru? La misma. En number four. I write, I have to visit clients every morning, every Monday at 8 a.m. Yes. Daniel? I'm 
perdón. ¿Cuál? Sorry, George. <laughs> Your answer is the number four. <laughs> number four. Eh, yo puse I had a ten a meeting every Monday at night of clock. Okay. And the number five? Yo, siempre yo. Quiero ver. Para mí, en la cuatro es el cuatro del cuadro. Para mí. Cuatro del cuadro. ¿Qué dice el cuatro del cuadro? A ten a meter. Ah, ok. I have to attend a meeting. Uh, sí, está bien. Sí, así es. Y para mí la cinco sería la respuesta seis del cuadro. ¿Qué es? Read a report. Read a report, ok. Celia, read a report. The meeting takes place in auditorium. Hello again, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Finish the exercise? Yes. Great. My goodness. Ya yes, tell me. I have a question. Yeah. Budget, uh, that means presupuesto? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I prepared the budget. <laughs> I checked the budget. I, I check budget to my clients every day. Really? My my uh, my profession is accountant. Accountant. All right. I yeah. see budget. Uh huh. All days, six, <laughs> no, five days, and the week. Days a week. You are a professional in the area. And I like. All right, that's great. Okay. Our secretary, ¿qué escribieron acá? Write report, a report. Secretary, right. ¿Así está bien? Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. ¿Seguro está? Mm, no. Oh, great. 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 Eso es. Necesitamos una S porque uh, right. es la persona, es ella, ¿verdad? She. So, our secretary right. writes reports. Uh -huh. Reports. Every day. <laughs> then she sends them via email. All right. I attend. I check. Attend check a meeting. meeting. I attend a meeting twice a day. I use my laptop computer. Si los meetings fueran online, podría ser. Si no, 
checked my email. I check my email. Uh -huh. My answer is this. All right, I check my email. My answer is this. Twice a day. Twice a day, I use my laptop computer. Yes. I have to? I have to visit clients. Visit clients every Monday. <laughs> okay, could be. Visit clients. All right, every and Monday. And other possibility uh -huh. is adding a meeting. Yes, I attend meetings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Meetings. We attend meetings every Monday at A. Yes, some companies usually start with a meeting on Monday. Uh huh. Celia? Organize. Organize. Meetings. Organize. Organize. With Z or with S? Organize. S or Z? Sí. Z. Sí. Sí. Hasta ahí? Sí. O le falta algo? X. S. 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 And the meetings take place in the auditorium. Ay, les dejaron un espacio para que escribieran una de ustedes. ¿Qué escribieron? Vamos a ver. I check my emails when I start work. I check my email when I start work. Okay. Good. When we finish our work, uh, I read a report to the client. Okay, I read or I send a report to the client when we finish work. To be another one. Mm -hmm. I check budget to my clients every day. I check my client's budget every day. Uh -huh. I check my client. I lo puse al revés. My client's budget. Es un poquito más natural. Ok, o si usted lo dice, I check the budgets from my clients. It's ok. Ok. Somebody else? Anything else? For example, I visit suppliers once or twice a week. Usually mm -hmm. at 10 at at a.m. Okay. Uh -huh. I visit suppliers. I usually visit suppliers once or twice a week at 10 a.m. or in the morning if you don't want to specify the hour. Mm -hmm. It's great. All right. Bueno, aquí les damos la opción para que escriban cualquier activity, obviamente propia de su trabajo. No todos hacemos lo mismo. No todos hacemos las mismas activities, right? Okay. Clear, clear, clear. Ok. Estas son algunas otras activities muy parecidas a las que acabamos de hacer. Select five activities from the box, write one question for each, interview one classmate per question, and write the answers. Ajá, ese es un poquito más de reto. ¿Cómo estructuramos las questions? Ustedes tienen esta, este cuadro. Estas son las actividades. Pero ustedes le quieren preguntar a un partner que si, por ejemplo, si le toca redactar cartas. ¿Cómo le preguntaría? Do you take a letter? Ajá, aquí dice type a letter. ¿verdad? Entonces se le pregunta, do you type letters at work? Do you type letters? Ajá, obviamente estamos hablando que si le... O sea, si es su responsabilidad hacer alguna de estas actividades en su trabajo. Si el compañero o la compañera le toca hacer esto, se dice, bueno, responde, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Uh -huh. Do you organize meetings at work? 
Yes, I, don't. I do. Or, no, I don't. Do you attend meetings at work? A todos yes. nos toca. <laughs> everybody. Yes, I do. Everybody, even if we don't want to, right? So you have to. It's a responsibility. Mm -hmm. Puede ser con estas activities o puede ser con cualquier otra activity que usted quiera preguntarle a su compañero que si hace eso. ¿Ok? For example, do you answer the phone? Do you write reports? Do you fix computers? Do you buy supplies? Do you import products? Do you make phone calls? Cualquier cosa que le quiera preguntar a su partners. Escriban en su notebook three questions. Pueden usar de estas actividades u otras actividades. ¿Ya? Yeah? Aquí decía una por cada actividad. But three questions, free. It's okay. ¿Ya las tienen? Ready? Go. <laughs> examples. Uh -huh. Voy a escribir un ejemplo para que es que todavía están empezando. Do you... Check computers system. Para, para los engineers. Quiere preguntarle que si to, le toca revisar los sistemas de computación. Or do you organize meetings? Toca organizar las meetings. Ok. Or do you prefer budgets? Do you check schedules? Or do you create schedules? Porque a unas personas nos toca crear los schedules. Uh -huh. Or do you make phone calls? Or do you receive phone calls? Do you send messages? Do you sell products? Yes. Those are some two examples, but you're free. You're free to create any question you want. Client. Yes. Got it? Are you ready? Yes. Good. Right. Ya podemos entrevistar a nuestros partners. Lo vamos a hacer en los mismos grupos que están, pero se unen, please. Join. <laughs> Don't go. mismas que I have three question y es la pregunta a cada uno de ustedes I know I, I, I believe it's yes. Compañero y tu compañero regresa. Ah, se les pregunto, yo creo que ya nos van a sacar. No, no dice. Ah, la ley. <ríe> Me está supervisando, Leslie Miss. <ríe> ok, entonces... Nos comparte las preguntas, este, ¿cuál es su nombre? Daniel. Daniel. 
Y right. nosotros respondemos. Right. And the first question is, do you drink coffee every Monday? Yes, I like a coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> All right. And the second question is Do you organize meetings weekly? Uh, no. No. You don't. No. 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 Uh, Yes, I'm meeting. para Jorge. Do you yes, check uh, documents? Do you check documents? No, I. Sería no I do. O I. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta de negativa? Sí. I no I do. No I don't. No I don't. No I don't. No, I don't. To do. <laughs> to do. <Sí>, sí. <laughs> Dos patos. Sí. <risa> eh, hay más patas fuera de lo común. En en six chicken. Todo chico. Ya pues. Me vas a competir a mi abuelita. <risa> Vamos a ver. Um, do you do you take do you care your pet? Care. Si vos cuidas Cuidado. tu mascota. Si cuidas a la mascota. So so. Vamos a ver. My mom. Ay no. I present your mom pet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Para qué más nieto, dilo. <risa> ah, vamos a ver. What is your job schedule? Tu horario de trabajo. Um, um, de 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Um, For thirty, thirty, thirty. Three minutes. No, four. Cuatro. Mhm. Mm Bye. ¿Qué día? The Monday. The Monday. Uh, a Friday. Monday, Monday to Friday. Friday. Uh -huh. Usually. Do you do you call clients every day? ¿Qué quiere decir que preguntaste algo acerca de la clase? No. Call clients. No te comprendí bien. Ah, que si llama a los clientes. Call clients. Call clients. Call, call clients. Sería call clients. Client. Yes. Every day. Every day. <laughs> okay. okay. Juliana, do you like the vegetable? My colleague, también. Yes, I like. Okay. Do you have a pet? Ana. Hola. Hola. Do you have a pet? Do you have a pet? A pet. Ajá. Uh -huh. Si tienes mascota. No tengo oh, mascota. Oh, mascota. Uh -huh. No. No, I don't. No, no I, I don't. don't. Uh -huh. Ana, no, I don't. where do you work? Yes, I work. Proveedores generales. Mm. 
Where? Other, where do you go? Don't Okay. ¿Quién sigue? Karen tiene otra. Karen. Do you go to meeting in the morning? What the question? Do you go to meeting in the morning? Mm, I don't understand. The, do you do you what? I will say Do you check email in the morning? Yes, I check my email in the morning quickly. Okay. Next. Next question. Do you go to meeting in the morning? Um, no, I don't. I mean in the afternoon. I go to meeting in the afternoon. Okay. Solo dos is. No, ya están las tres. La primera que es, ya estaríamos completos. Todos hicimos tres, ¿verdad? Yes. Y yo hice tres. Three question to for a uh, once a partner. No sé cómo se dice cada uno. Por cada... Okay, finished, right? Right. Okay, good. Okay, do you remember the answers from your partners? Yes. Yes. All right, now tell your classmates. What do you remember that your partners do? For example, you say, oh, Evelyn checks her emails in the afternoon. Or, let's see, Julio prepares reports every week. I don't know, whatever you remember from your partners. Let's see, volunteers. All. Hello. Hello. Uh, sorry. Yes. I don't listen your uh, la explicación. The explanation. <laughs> the instruction. Que nos cuente? Tell us about what your partner does. For example, if your partner is Evelyn, let's say you remember that Evelyn told you something. Oh, you say, oh, I remember Evelyn. Uh, sends uh, budgets to her clients every week. Yes? Uh, teacher, um, with my partner of the chat, mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, uh, talking about mm -hmm. uh, um, activities mm -hmm. we do every day mm -hmm. uh, who is your partner we, in the chat okay in the breakout room in, in the chat uh, my partner uh, has a uh, brenda mm -hmm. um do you remember brenda's activities brenda's activity mm -hmm. brenda's activity is she prefer to uh, she practices sports she practices but, sports. Uh -huh, but she prefers to play uh, basketball. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, 
igual eh, eh, Daniela uh -huh. uh, tú, Daniela tú prefer uh, basketball Okay, Daniela, uh, basketball too. Okay, uh, correcto. Eh, <laughs> Daniela has uh, pets. Daniela has a lot of pets. Yes. I remember. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh, what else? Eh, pues, no sé qué más decir. Uh, Don't you remember? We, es todo uh, lo que le compartieron. Yeah, we no, were talking no, no. about the, the worst cherub <laughs> the from, from Daniela. Uh -huh. Yeah, what else? she works. She works uh, from Monday to Friday. Uh, for Black. from uh -huh. seven seven a.m. to four thirty p.m. All right. Uh -huh. what and else? sometimes she works on Saturdays. Oh my goodness, that's a difficult schedule. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were talking too about the activities that Julio da does that? With, uh -huh. with his family. Tell me about his activities too. Uh, he said that. Your microphone, Brenda. The, uh, she's, he said, sorry, that uh, he likes play Free Fire with her daughters, his All daughters. Right. He likes to play Free Fire with his daughters on his free time. Yes. <laughs> what else? Uh, uh, Any more? Uh, what? Uh, Daniela don't like to drink coffee. She doesn't like to drink coffee. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, we, uh, I do a question mm -hmm. to Daniela. Mm -hmm. uh, the question is, uh, actually, do you play soccer? Mm -hmm. uh, she say so, so. Mm -hmm. And she prefers basketball. Yes. All right. Thank you. I see Loli is raising her hand. Tell me. Okay. I do the answer mm -hmm. uh, to Juliana, Anna, and Kevin. Uh huh. But I only remember. <laughs> I only remember. Two partners, okay? Okay, two partners. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Juliana like, likes drink coffee. Uh, she likes to drink coffee. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anna, Anna, too? Anna likes yes. to drink coffee too. Uh-huh, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Um, Juliana has a pet. Has a pet. Juliana has a pet. Yes. What is um, it? She doesn't tell me. Ah, she didn't tell me. <laughs> you didn't okay. tell me. <laughs> I had didn't. Yeah. Um. Okay. Juliana likes eat the vegetable. She likes to eat vegetables. Mm -hmm. And only that, if I oh, don't yeah. remember. Okay, the other. good. Somebody else? Algun other volunteer? Any other volunteer? Tatiana, yay! Go! <laughs> My colleague George, mm -hmm. not at clients on Saturday. Oh, wow. <laughs> no clients on Saturday. <laughs> he doesn't attend clients on Saturday. Okay. My colleague Karen mm -hmm. writes reports in the morning. Uh -huh. My colleague Ruth check emails at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Excellent. 
Very good. Estos partners no le mandan reactions, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasa con estos partners? Ahí tienen los, los emojis. Los ignoran. Ajá. ¿Nobody else? ¿Any other partner? Se terminaron las participations. Color stay everything we have. Ya dio todo. She says everything. All right. Okay. Good. No more examples. Okay. All right. Any questions? ¿Tienen alguna duda? ¿Alguna doubt hasta ahorita? Any question, any doubt? A question. Tell me. No questions. No questions. Ah, no, I no thought question. you said a question. No, no que, question. Que dicho a question. <laughs> okay, no problem. It's okay. I have a pencil in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> to participate. <laughs> Ok. Well, as you may notice, como se habrán podido dar cuenta en su manual, toda la unidad es acerca de esto, ¿verdad? De las actividades que se hacen en el trabajo. So, talk about routine in everyday situations. In everyday situations. And what activities do secretaries do in your company? Vale, ahorita vamos a dejar de pensar un poquito en lo que nosotros hacemos, sino que tenemos que pensar en el trabajo que realizan ya sean las secretaries o las administrative assistants, porque ahora también se les llama así, ¿verdad? No necesariamente, no, si mi trabajo no hay secretary, no, pero si hay un assistant, un administrative assistant, que le toca pasar creando reports, answering the phone, assisting the bosses, So they do a lot of work, a lot of paperwork, especially, right? They prepare schedules, they uh, organize meetings, todo ese tipo de cosas que les toca hacer. Ya sea que le llamemos secretaries or administrative assistants. All right? Ya pensaron right. en esas actividades que les toca hacer a esas personas en su trabajo? At your yes. work, at your office. May photocopies. <laughs> Hay algo It's que... Any, any work. A lot of work, yes. Hay algo que yo admiro mucho de ese tipo de cargos que es el estar haciendo cotizaciones. I hate that. <laughs> o sea, yo creo que yo de eso me hubiera muerto de hambre. But I have, I mean, in my work there is an assistant que puede estar con la computadora y con el celular, y, o sea, agarrando el mejor postor. Like, if we have an event, for example, and we need to hire a sound system, for example, just like contacting so many suppliers, so many different businesses. And I'm like, wow, how do you do that? But she's like on the phone, on the computer all the time. I really admire her. <laughs> That's a skill, I think. Vale, cuando ya hayamos pensado, podemos igual take notes, ¿verdad? Y luego tenemos una conversation que también estamos hablando de qué hacen un secretary. En este caso, una secretary en específico que se llama... Sonia. Sonia. Dominic. Yes, her name is Dominic. Porque pregunta, o sea, la conversación es entre Sonia y Matt. Pero Sonia le pregunta a Matt qué hace I mean Dominic, right? 
Y él dice, she's a secretary. Dice, y él, ah, oh, I see. O sea, cuando uno dice, ¿y qué hace esa persona? En términos generales, es la ocupación, ¿verdad? For example, it says, what does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly. Aquí ya le está preguntando, ajá, pero ¿cuáles son como sus funciones? Más exactamente. Sí, ya sabemos. Digamos, yo, ajá, ya entiendo, es una secretaria, pero ¿está a cargo de qué? ¿De qué actividad? ¿De qué funciones? Right? So it says, oh, I see your point. I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She's the first person to arrive in the office. Y también le toca llegar temprano a la oficina. Okay. One more time. Traten de ir siguiendo la lectura, okay? Para que cuando les toque practice, ya por lo menos hayan identificado si hay una palabra que les dé reto o que signifique un reto para ustedes. All right. Let me get some spotlight. What does Monique do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly. Ah, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She's the first person to arrive in the office. Dudas, questions, con alguna palabra o algún significado? What's the meaning of how do you pronounce? No? Clear? Clear. Clear as the water? Yes. What does Monique do? Excuse me? What does Monique do? Uh, she is a secretary. And what does she do exactly every day? Um, he, I, oh, I see your point. Well, she type reports and sends emails every day. She is a hard working woman. Mm -hmm. She types reports and sends emails every day. And she's a hardworking woman. She works hard. Yeah? And does she arrive early? In my office? No. <laughs> she is the <laughs> last people. The last person to arrive to the office. Yes, yes. <laughs> does she... Ask for a lot of permissions? Mm, no. No. Um, no. Because in my work, <laughs> thank God you don't know my work. <laughs> she's very <laughs> efficient and she's very talented. She's very skillful with these activities. But she has a lot of permissions. This week, She didn't go to work only one day, only on Monday. And then sick. She has a medical leave. She usually gets medical leave for one week. And sometimes, yeah, she gets a permission because she has two children because of, or her daughter or her son is sick or her husband or her mother has a problem. So she always asks for permission. Mi jefe ya la hubiera despedido. Bye. Okay. All right. So we're going to practice. Okay. We're going to practice. Primero, you have to describe. ¿Cuáles son como las actividades más relevantes o más comunes que hacen una secretary? Okay. The most common, the most relevant activities that a secretary does. And then you practice a conversation and maybe you can try to change some activities if you want. Después de que la hayan practicado tal cual está acá, you can substitute some activities as well, right? Are you ready? Ready. 
Ahora, right. ahora sí vamos a cambiar de grupos. Next group. Why? <laughs> Why? I miss my partner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you have the opportunity to work with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> and to have new friends. It's up. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and send emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Uh, me corrige esa, esa palabra. Absolute. Absolutely. 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 Uh, that she are. Early. A, a, arrive early. That she arrive early. That's early. Dark that's early. No. Okay. Yes. Okay. No sé si ahora este practico con Karen. Okay. Uh-huh. Inicio. What yes. does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, see, what does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Uh, well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Ahora está Juliana con Karen. Entonces dice absolutely. 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 Does she arrive early? Lo que se dice. Arrive early. Early, algo así. Early. 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 Arrive early. Algo así. Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Mm. Hasta ahí. Ok, nice. hoy vamos con Daniel. Daniel con nice. Ana, a ver cómo va. <laughs> okay. ok, voy con, con, con Kevin. Ok, comienzo. Ah, pues, te va a ser Sonia ahora, yo voy a ser Mar. <laughs> ok, vos serás María. La vez pasada, okay. la vez pasada fue, todo, fue Mar, Esteban. Sí, sí cabal salió. Okay. Cabal salimos entonces. What do, you, what do you do every Monday morning? ¿Ah? ¿A dónde? No, Sonia. Yo soy Sonia. Por eso le dije, what do you do every, day, every Monday morning? Pero inicia con what does Dominic do? What does it, ajá, por eso, what do you do every Monday morning? Ya me perdí. Vaya. También, ¿dónde, ¿en qué página estás? Ajá, ¿dónde dice eso? Ah, no, 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 es que estaba tomando la verdad, <risa> Sorry, sorry, me tomé, me equivoqué de página. Okay. Es que estaba en, anterior, en la conversación oh, anterior, no es verdad. <risa> Ah, ya. Yeah. Ok, sorry. <risa> ah, es que también había una... Me parece. Aquí estoy.
De, entonces quedaría de Secretary Manage a Client's Database o, o Manage a Supplier's Database. Veamos. Uh, en la manage última. Supplier. Ajá. Man, admin, sí, Manage eh, Database. Administra la base de datos. Date. Es date base o database. Creo que es date ah. base. Ah, no, database. No, database es. Ah. Uh -huh. Y ahí como... lo, lo pronuncian database, pero es, depende de la pronunciación de si es inglés okay. o si es o si es ay, ¿cómo se llama el otro? Inglés ah, o de Inglaterra. El de, el de Inglaterra. Ajá, y el otro que es de los Estados Unidos. Date. Es que date es fecha. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces ahora practicamos el par. Vaya, ¿quién va a ser Sonia? Ah, es que el de Sonia yo creo que es luego, según las indicaciones sí. del... Veamos, quiero ver, porque son dos. Da, la parte, sí, es que la parte una, la parte uno dice qué actividades uh, hacen las secretarias en su compañía. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá, entonces en la lista de en la lista de los to do de las secretarias. Ay, 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 ya pusimos el secretary manage a database. ¿Qué más vamos a poner? De los que nos dijo Julio. Yo puse write report. Write report. Yo, yo así lo puse. Write reports, read reports, prepare the meetings, meetings, manage database, organize, organizing, así se dirá, organizing, organizing. Organi, ¿a dónde está? Organizing. 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 organizing and servicing, servicing, meetings. Servicing. Ajá. Eso puse. Um, okay. ¿Eh? No sé si Brenda va a Hello. Hello, Brenda. I don't see you. Hello. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. No ni tarde. Sorry. Sorry, eh... no, estaba entretenida escuchándola. You say sí, person, estaba... Sony. ¿Ah? Sony and Matt. Your person. Ay, me perdí, no escuché. Es que se me fue ahí el internet y me perdí en eso. ¿Qué personaje Sony... quiere usted, Sonia o Matt? Para leer la, ah. la hoja. Uh, Sonia, está bien, no importa. You begin. Pero la mandó al grupo de ella. No sé. No, yo te fue el libro. Manuel. Sí, 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 la mandó. Ah, ah, vaya. Entonces... Vaya. Voy a leer lo de Sonia entonces. Ok. Yes. Uh, what does Dominic do? Well, she is a, a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends email every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Wow. <laughs> 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 
<risa> Estaba viendo lo de su secretaria y ay, me identifico con ella. ¿no? She lives at the office every day late. Every day. <risa> my, bo my boss uh, says, ni modo. <risa> Ya se adaptaron. Yes. Sí. Okay. Lo bueno es que han sido comprensivos. Después de 13 años, ya no quedaba Dios. <risa> ok. Sí, eh, pero... uh -huh. Say the... Sonia. No, I, I, yo sería Sonia and you match. ¿Otra vez? Yes. Ahora intercambiamos, ¿cómo? Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, what does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does do? What does she do? She do every day exactly. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Vouch it! <laughs> <laughs> Admirable. Okay, um, Lizette. ¿Y después qué, vamos, qué tenemos que hacer con eso? ¿Solo practicar? Eh, sí, solo practicar la pronunciación más que todo. Oh. Y por eso, bueno, pero creo que el breaker room ya va a terminar. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Aún no regresan todos. <laughs> <laughs> Se quedaron en el breakout. Me dio problemas mi, conex mi conexión, Missy, y... y... De repente yo estaba sola en, el, en, el, en la sala. Y dice, hola, Lom. Sí, cuando me una una han ido llegando, así que estaba preocupada. Ok, no worry. Vale, vamos a elegir a... Esta vez lo haré yo. I will choose. Se me perdió Jorge. Where is Jorge? <laughs> Ahí está. Jorge, your photo is very interesting. Did you go to the United States? Jorge, listen to me. Perdón. Your photo, it's very interesting. Did you take the photo in the United States? Que si la foto que ha puesto en Zoom la tomó en los Estados Unidos. ¿Cómo? Su foto. Ah, una foto. Ajá. No, no, no. Es en España. ¿En España? Sí. ¿Really? ¿Did you go to Spain? Se la pica, sí, Jorge. No, okay. <laughs> ¿Cuándo fue a Spain? When did you go to Spain? Mm, yeah, en 2017. 17, en 2017. 2017. 2017. Sí. Eso estaba tratando de recordar, pero no me acuerdo. <laughs> Los numbers. Did you go for vacation, to work, or to study? Study. To study. Eh, sí, un año que estuve por ahí. What did you study in Spain? 
en... No sé cómo decirles un poquito complicado. Es como... Fue un año de experiencia religiosa, digamos. Oh, una misión. Sí, algo así. Oh, nice. That's an interesting experience. What cities did you visit? What? What places did you visit? What city? What regions? Ah. Madrid. But, um, um, Barcelona. Uh -huh. De las ciudades que visité, ¿no? Uh -huh. Barcelona, Lérida, Madrid. Eh, no me quiero ver. Valladolid. Varios lugares, pero. Oh my God. Qué modesto, sí, George. Pero... No quiere compartir. Vaya, no lo moleste. Por eso le va a tocar practicar la conversation with Tatiana. <risa> No. Vaya, con quién voy a hablar? Tatiana. Okay. ¿Cuál Dominic Du? Eh, yo soy Mac. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. ¿Cuál well. Dominic Du? Eh, well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. ¿Cuál does she do every every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she type, report, and send email every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive? No. Does right. she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Claps. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Arrive. Remember, like in the airport, is it arrivals? When people arrive, right? Okay. Ah, now we're going to listen to Kevin and Haylin. Ya terminó la meeting, Haylin. Yes. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah, I survived. Este día sí que le hace largo, Eileen. Sí, viera. Ay, pero gracias a Dios ya estoy aquí. I'm alive. Okay. Okay. Kevin, ¿verdad? Kevin, yes. Yes. Okay. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she ties report and send email every day. She's a, a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She's a she's the first person to arrive in the office. Yay. Yay. Claps. 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 Okay, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Any doubt? Any question? Any difficulty? No? Easy? Easy peasy? Yes? Lemon squeezy? All right. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's continue. Voy a mostrar para efectos de Insoform el manual de donde obviamente ha sido tomado todo este material. Aquí es donde inicia la Unit 1. Eso es lo que vimos ayer. This is what we started yesterday. Aquí continuamos today. And this is the conversation that you have been practicing. Okay, that is the PDF of the manual that you find on the platform. Okay. Um, I said, oh, my pause. I'm going to go to the email. I'm going to go to the control. Estas formas. Se fijan acá en la primer question. Tenemos el auxiliar. Yes. Das. La pregunta es acerca de Dominic. Hey. Hey. Sí. Entonces necesitamos el auxiliary. 
does. Yes. Ok. Si yo le preguntara a alguien directamente, ¿y tú qué haces o tú a qué te dedicas? What do you do? Pero como estoy hablando acerca de alguien más, de una tercera persona, en este caso, a feminine, or a woman, person, is she. So I need, what does Dominic do? And then they say, well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. Y no podemos encontrar con el mismo caso. What does she do every day? Okay. Oh, I see your point. Well, she... ¿Qué hace? She types reports and sends emails every day. She types. Si se fijan, types. Tiene una S, ¿verdad? Lo que decíamos. She types, reports, and sends. O sea, que le voy a agregar una S al verbo, a la acción, a la palabra que denota acción, cuando estoy hablando de una tercera persona, ya sea he or she. ¿Yes? Ok, she types, reports, and she sends emails. And sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Yeah? Es como nada más para mostrarles más específico, ¿verdad? Vaya, voy a borrar esto para que me deje avanzar. Y aquí su reto. ¿Cuál de las dos formas es la correcta? Types. 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 Types, ¿verdad? Justamente lo que acabamos de ver. Como es she... Voy a poner types. Types with S, the verb, right? The ending S for the verb. So she types report. Do or does she arrive late? Does, does, she, does she arrive does she exactly. arrive? Exactly. The auxiliary does is for he, she, and it. And do is only for I, you, we, they. Yes? Yes. Does she arrive or does she arrive? Arrive. arrive. Con S o sin S? Sin S. Sin S. Lleva la auxiliar. Exactly. Because aquí ya está el auxiliary does. Entonces, aunque sea she, ya no necesito la S al verbo. Eso me va a pasar con las questions y con las negativas. Si ya tengo un auxiliary, ya el verbo no tiene por qué estar modificado. O sea, que el reto nada más es en afirmativo, que le tengo que poner ese, ¿ok? So, does she arrive? ¿Ya? Good. ¿Qué pone? ¿Questions? No question. No questions, ok. All clear. Ok, y acá les dan la explicación. Simple present for third person singular. He, Dominic, it, obviously, si yo sustituyo Dominic por un pronombre, sería she. Ajá, she or he checks. He or she goes. He or she likes. Fijan, el verbo se le agrega una S, una ES. En algunos casos, sobre todo aquellos verbos irregulares como go, goes, do, does, have, has. Y en la gran mayoría solo es el AS. Para los otros pronombres, I, you, we, they, they, my co-workers, the employees, no, no pasa eso. Check, go, like, no problem. Y a la hora de estructurar la yes, no question, pues ponemos al inicio el auxiliary. Does he check reports? Does she check reports? Do we check reports? Do you check? Aquí, como son los otros pronombres, pues el auxiliary va a ser do, no does. Does es exclusivamente para he, she, it. Yes? Vamos bien? Are we okay? 
Okay. Are we on the same track? All right. ¿Y para qué nos sirve el simple present? Pues aquí nos dicen. El simple present nos sirve no, para describir daily activities or routines. Para hablar de schedule events or timetables, que es lo mismo. Ok. Y aquí vamos a completar ese paragraph. Complete the paragraph with the words in the box. Yes. Evelyn? What does that mean, timetables? Horarios, schedules. It's the same. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. it's the same. Okay. All right. Complete the paragraph with the words in the box. Aquí tenemos call, have, check, wake up, work, go. O sea que go la vez, ¿cuántas veces lo voy a utilizar? Three times. Three times, okay? So complete the paragraph with the words in the box. Make sure that you write them in the correct form. Eso significa que si voy a usar go después de she, voy a tener Ghost. que escribir goes. Exactly. Si voy a usar eh, have después de he or she, has. has. Yes. Uh, yes. If, for example, wake up, si fuera después de he or she, ¿dónde llevaría la S? Wakes. Wakes, exactly. Wakes up. Los verbos que se componen de dos palabras, o sea, una base word y una preposition, no se le agrega la preposition a la preposition. A mí no se le agrega la S a la preposition, se le agrega a la, a la parte principal del verbo. Yes. Yes. All right, right. Trabajamos este exercise. Tienen two minutes para realizar. Two or three minutes. Work. Work. Out. You all finish? Yes. Vamos a compartir nuestras answers with our partners in the groups, all right?
Ay, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. La tercera es Chex. Uh, la tercera. Uh -huh. Es eh, de chequear el correo. Uh -huh. Mi después uh -huh. calls. Ajá. Quiero ver. Sería checks. Sí. Con ese, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y luego repetimos el goes. Es calls. Ah, perdón, 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 perdón. Ah, uh, calls. Uh -huh. Llamar. Uh -huh. Ahí estoy. ¿Y cuadra va? Perdón, abrí. Uh -huh. Quiero check el email and calls all the clients in her daily list. Uh, Elisa y Claudia. Uh, yeah. Yo puse. Vamos en la. ¿Dónde sí. dice Claudia? Dice Claudia. Uh, Alicia y Claudia. Yo uh, puse work, Claudia. work. O sea, Alicia y Claudia trabajan con Dominic. Uh -huh. Yo lo puse así, sin ese, como es en plural. Está mm, hablando sí. de ellas. Sí, lo que pasa es que es eh, ah, correcto. Es ellas. Viene de, de ellos. Es Ahí they. Los... Ajá, de ellos, correcto. Perdón. Bien, bien dicho. Ajá, uh, work. Y luego vienen todos los más. Uh, they, 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 they have to go on to the... Ellas... Ok, aquí creo que nos queda el, el have. Have. Uh -huh. uh, they have to go. Sí. To go. Ah, no, no. They no, have go. to go. To go. Ah, no, correcto, así es. They have to go. Uh -huh. Listen, Claudia, work. Ah, oh, sí. Work. Sí, work. They go to have lunch. They go to have lunch. To Together at 4 p.m. Tomini comes home. home. Her. Home. Brenda. Brenda. Hi, hi. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> hi. Sorry. Your answers. Uh, Tell us your answers. Ahorita. Um, back of they tiene que ser go ajá uh -huh. they tiene que ser go they work they work con Dominica they work to Wake up. Wake up. ¿Y qué significa? Wake up. Wake up. Espera, mi amor. Después dice lunch together. Lunch together. Creo que despertar. Sí, ¿verdad? Entonces no puede ir ahí porque... No, oh, pues no. Yo creo que esa era la primera. Okay, ah, sí, 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 sí. Sí, que se despierta sí. para ir al trabajo. Fue uh -huh. uh -huh. la primera. What? She wake, shake. Wake up. Shake her mind on. On, on call. Just. 
Vale, la primera es web. Wake up. Se levanta. Uh -huh. A las 5 de la mañana. A las 5 de la mañana. Uh -huh. Ella se queda en su trabajo. Ella ve en su trabajo y cuando ella. Tiene. Ella tiene. Cuando ella. Friends. Súper bien. Sí, pero esa de Big Bang, oh, ya, me, me dio tristeza el final de Big Bang. No me lo cuento, no me lo cuento, no ha llegado. Oh, no ha llegado todavía. Ay, sí, <risa> Ya voy, a, ya voy a hacer, ¿cómo es que dicen? Un eh, spoiler. Ah, oh, cabal, cabal, no, 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 no se lo cuente, no se lo cuente, pero es bonita, es bonita. Yeah. Un tubito, ¿ok? Y en el otro, el de Celia, será organ, Organized Meeting. Organized. Uh -huh. El de Celia, ¿verdad? El de Celia, uh -huh. ¿sí? Cabal. Solo eso es el... Y en el 6 que usted tenía que escribir algo. Ajá. Sí. Vale, si quieren repasamos no, no esta la conversación, que sea una vez. Uh -huh. Esta la de From Monday to Friday. Ah, cabrón. ¿Cuál, cuál, 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 cuál? ¿Qué número página? Esta que estamos haciendo ahorita. Estamos... Que... Ok, yo lo repito. ¿Lo, ¿Lo va a repetir? Sí, sí, es que no me gustó, lo dije. Ay, vaya. Es que, sí, aquí okay, dice, ya, ya lo tengo aquí, uh, from, Monday, from Monday to Friday, Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. Uh, she goes to work and when she gets there, She checks her email and calls all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work mm -hmm. with Dominic. They had to go lunch together. At 4 p.m., Dominic goes home. Okay. Yo creo que está. Está bien. Mm -hmm. Lo repito yo ahora. Sí. Okay. From Monday to Friday. Finished, right? What do you say? <laughs> ya volvimos. We're back. <laughs> We are back. We are back. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Nice. No problem. Okay, let's see what the answers are. Aha. Uh -huh. Give me one second. Here we go. From Monday to Friday, Dominique. 
Wake up. Wakes up. Wake up. Wakes up. So wake me up. <laughs> wakes up at five o'clock. Hmm. Aceptable. Todavía hay gente que gets up and wakes up at three, three thirty. It's super oh early. Yeah. And okay, yeah, from Monday to Friday, Dominique wakes up at 5 o'clock a.m. She, she goes, she goes to work, to work, to work. She goes to work, and when she gets there, she, she checks, 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 her email and calls. Calls. Uh -huh. calls all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia work work with Dominic. Aquí no es because it's Lisa and Claudia, right? So we don't need the S for the verb because it's they. Okay, Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They they go. They go. They go. Mm -hmm. have. They have. They go. They have to go. So they have to go. Oh. Uh -huh. They have to go. Why? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> they have to go lunch together. <laughs> bueno, they no I Talk made a mistake. Minute. <laughs> they have to go lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. Goes home. Mm, at four. Teacher, yes. I I I make mistake because I write they they go have they go to have lunch together. Actually, that's okay. Now that I think of, si ¿sí? tiene sentido. They go to have lunch together, si. ¿sí? Makes sense. Si lo dejamos como they have to go lunch together, como es obligación que vayan a comer juntas, pero no necesariamente. They go to have lunch together, makes sense too. Actually, mm -hmm. tiene mucho más sentido. Ellos van a almorzar juntos. Mm -hmm. It's okay, no problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, it's time to finish. Pasamos la última tendence. Let me see. My goodness. Ana Ruth. Present. Brenda. I'm here, teacher. Claudia. Daniel Adonai. Present. Daniel Alejandro. Present. Daniel Alicet. Present. Daisy. I'm here. Dolores de Los Angeles. Present. Juliana. Present. Helen. <laughs> or Ailey. Present. <laughs> my bad, my <laughs> bad. <friend. laughs> <laughs> Terrible, terrible, terrible. Jorge Antonio. Okay. Uh, Julio. I'm here. Okay. Karen. Present. Kevin. Lady. <laughs> Present. Truth Evelyn. Present. All right. Bueno, ayer nos acompañó en la sesión de One on One, Ana Ruth, y este es día dijimos que es para Brenda. Yo. Brenda. Ok, mañana nos acompañaría Claudia, ok. Yes. Okay. No sé si me puso asistencia porque no dije present. Fue la primera que me salió. Sí, 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 ya le había puesto. No worry. Okay. Right. Okay. So nos quedamos con Brenda. And the rest. Okay. Rest. <laughs> Rest in the sleep. Good night. 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 Good night
Bye. Good, good night, tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Yes, have a good night. Sleep well. Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Cuénteme, ¿cómo se ha sentido? En la clase. Bien, me gusta. Ok. Pero me voy a poner la cámara que me da pena con los demás porque ando en viaje. <risa> no problem. It's ok. ¿Desde dónde me dijo que nos acompañaba? La unión. Really? Es hot mm -hmm. en la unión. Very Bastante. hot. Mm -hmm. Les cuesta dormir y todo. Bueno, yo digo que como uno es acostumbrado. Pero, Pero aún así, uno ¿verdad? Es Sienten, ajá, un poco sí. difícil e incómodo, me imagino. Bastante. Pero en, en la alcaldía. Hay? Ajá. Pero en la alcaldía sí hay, ¿verdad? Sí, en la oficina sí. Ajá, entonces como que tiene, que tiene que estar balanceando eso entre estar en el aire y no en la casa. Sí, wow, sí, pero sí. qué bonito que se, se han podido conectar. That's nice. Sí, yo todo lo solo. Y esta es su experiencia, es como ya varias experiencias, su primera experiencia estudiando inglés. Eh, así en línea es como la primera. De verdad. Aunque no, ya sube el primer módulo, ajá. Ajá. El año pasado. El año pasado, sí, en noviembre. Ok. Pero sí. ¿Habían descansado bien, un buen ratito? Uh, sí, un mes, porque mm. terminamos el 21 de diciembre. Ajá, sí, un mes mm. prácticamente. Un mes, villita. ¿No sintieron que se desactualizaron? No, no para nada. <risa> Igual a mí cuando puedo me gusta escuchar música en, música en inglés o me gusta sí. ver series. That's a good idea. Sí, ahí va acumulando sí. más vocabulary y eso es muy, muy sí, importante. Me gusta eso. Sí, qué bueno pues que están practicando bastante y sí se ve la participación, ¿verdad? Lo cual es lo que se espera pues para que, para que vaya fluyendo las ideas y todo, no se le olvide. Ok, ¿alguna duda o algo con lo que le pueda ayudar? Uh, no, solo a veces, a veces cuando, porque fíjate que a veces no se trabajo en mi casa, trabajamos costurando. Sí. Entonces, a veces, cuando esté tal vez muy saturada, yo le voy a decir que puedo estar escuchando, pero tal vez no puedo estar hablando. Ok, o escribe uh -huh. en el chat. Ajá, ajá, ajá uh -huh. le digo, pero sí trato de estar siempre pendiente. Sí, nice. ¿Y ya sí. descargó el manual? No, eso no. La verdad, <ríe> me había olvidado. Sí. En el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Lo tienes en la plataforma? Oh, ah, pues lo voy a descargar. Voy okay. a ingresar a la plataforma. Ajá, empieza en la plataforma y ahí lo voy a encontrar. Déjenme ver si se lo puedo mostrar. Que de repente la plataforma no me saca. Así como que ya es. ¿Y se ha unido a la unión alguna vez? No, bueno, he pasado. Una vez que fuimos a Costa Rica, pues ahí la frontera, ¿verdad? Pasaquina con Honduras, pero sí, hace rato. Ya hace buen ratito. Sí, pero sí me pareció que el clima es bastante extremo, eso sí. Sí, es bien diferente a la zona central. Uh -huh. Sí, ahorita le muestro. Creo que por acá sí. está. ¿Siempre has vivido en la unión? Sí, aquí ah, nací. Okay. Súper acostumbrada, entonces. Sí. Sí. Acá está. Justo acá voy a encontrar esa pestañita que dice Students Manual, de principiante 2. Yes. Y acá usted le da a descargar. Bueno, puede ser desde esta flechita o desde esta, o como que lo va una vez a imprimir y lo guarda en su escritorio. Sí. También lo puedo guardar en el celular, ¿verdad? Yo creo que sí, sí lo puedo guardar como PDF en el celular para que lo esté viendo. Ajá. 
solo que si, si quiere como tomar notas o ir resolviendo los ejercicios de, de forma manual, mejor este que lo imprimo. Practicamos inglés. Just five minutes. <laughs> okay. Bye. Tell me about yourself. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> I I really like English, but I feel that um, I for, forget some words because I I don't practice. Um, how how can I say? Very often, very frequently. Very often, right? Mm -hmm. Very often. I don't practice very often. Um, do you practice English or do you speak English at work? No. <laughs> Never? No. What about your colleague? Mm, no. They don't like to practice? When? No, uh, because my area? Uh -huh. uh, uh, la mayoría de gente, ¿cómo le Most of the people. Most of the people don't have study. Really? Uh huh. Uh, and how how can I say um, area of maintenance? The maintenance. The maintenance area. Oh really? So you study more compared to yes. the other people? Yes. Okay. I I I'm new in the area. Oh really? How many how many months or years are you in the area? I uh, just just months. Really? Yes. In September last uh, year, you got hired. Yes. You start working in that job, and before no, uh, in that in that, that job, area, I I have eleven years. Eleven years in the in the city uh -huh. hall. Oh, yes. wow. But I were in, in another area. I was in another area. Oh, nice. <laughs> and when did you start, like, developing this like for English? Why? When? When did you feel like, oh, I, I, I love English or I need to learn English? Oh, when I, I was a, a girl. When you were just a little girl in yes. school? Yes, in Itka. At Itka? Itka, so you were in high school, or no? That's a no. technical career, right? Yes, but um, I study on weekends. Really? Uh -huh. Over weekends. there, and I, I, ha I have, I had uh, about maybe nineteen years. Oh, you were a young lady. Yes, uh, I I went I went to United States when really? I was a little girl. Really? Yeah. And how many years did you stay there? I um, eight eight years old. Really? Oh wow! Yes. And why did you come back? Um, because I miss my mom. <laughs> so how long did you yes. stay in the states? A long time. Uh -huh. uh, about one month. Only one month. Uh, one okay. month. So you but went. To... I, I went to the school. Really? For yes. one month. Uh, so you went on vacation weeks, practically. Uh, uh, around two weeks. That's so interesting. That's that, a very interesting that, story. That is why. I like the English. I see. Because you <laughs> understand a lot. Why a lot? Yes, because this I, is just I don't basic have more too. vocabulary. I need. <laughs> yes, I need but more on, vocabulary. On the internet, you can get a lot of vocabulary. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to suggest some work, I mean, some websites for you to practice. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to send the links. Okay. I, I think tomorrow I'm going to send the links on the group so you can access and practice vocabulary with videos, with songs, with conversations, with games, with a lot of things. I like a lot the English music. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. That's really, I really cool. Love. Nice. Hey, and well, I, I were, 
I had a, a great experience in the school in the United States. So I like English that, that's for that. Good. That's good. Yes. yes. And you studied at ITCA in La Unión. Yes. Oh, nice. I yes. studied in ITCA. Uh, eran como lo digo, eran cursos en, en, de fin de semana. Yeah. Eran cursos básicos. Uh, yeah, so on the weekend. Yeah, I, I used yeah. to work at ITCA also for many years, but here in Santa Tecla. And then I I studied a technical career. A technical career the, of the com computer. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, computer and system. Oh, that's good. You also need English for computer and system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I I studied through one year of mm -hmm. about. In, uh, a major in English, but oh, nice. what's it, the economic situation? Yeah. And it's far, right? Continue. Because yeah. Univers is San Miguel, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have to travel. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. I know. Uh, we have we have a a little problem with with our family mm -hmm. about money, so. The economy. Yeah, it's okay. Well, thank you so much for staying. It was so great talking to you. Yeah, maybe we thank can coordinate you. and visit you in La Unión. Yeah, I've been <laughs> waiting. Be nice. That would be awesome, okay? Yeah. So now we have a friend who waits for us in La Unión. Yay! Yeah. There are many places you, you can visit. Yeah, I have, I, I have watched some videos that they have a lot of beautiful places. Yeah, yeah the beach. Yeah, true. Well, thank you so very much. I won't keep you any longer. Have a good night. Thank you, Dijerit, too. Bye. Thank you. Sweet dreams. You Bye. too. Sweet dreams.